Hi guys, good morning and good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Nora and you're welcome to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time to view my channel, you're most, most welcome. Please kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell to turn on the notification. Every time that I upload a new video, you'll be notified. If you find my videos helpfully, please let me know in the comment section below. And if you like my video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And guys, today I want to talk about something that we made when we come when we come to countries like um like, let me say we in the Middle East. I'm in the Middle East country. So most of me define them talking about something that i hate to say it but it's poverty in luganda <laughs> so you find most of us has um they call okay the aka's kadamas how they call themselves but me i don't call myself that because i know my name i'm nora you find them saying there is so much poverty in uganda and me as a person, Nora, as the way I think, I ask myself, so if you say there are poverty at home, right, how did you grow up or how did you raise your kids in that poverty? Didn't you survive? Didn't you eat food? Didn't you hustle to make sure you pay your house rent? Did you hustle to make sure you built that house that you left at home, the one bedroom and the sitting room? You hustled to reach there. You worked so hard. So when we're here, we think people that we are working for, they are rich. I'll tell you the reason why I brought up this today. So we think that people here are rich. They have money. They have everything. But they are just like those people we left at home. They're just like us. Yes, we came to this country to hustle because we want something. Some of us, we came here to make money so that we can go back home and build something for ourselves. Maybe to start up a small business. You know, Uganda, there are so many entrepreneurs in Uganda. Young people starting up their own businesses and then they come to these countries, they work. Some of them, you find when their own family members have betrayed them they send them money they don't do exactly what they have they have that money is for they lie to them you know the money has gone into this we had this kind of problem for them they always have problems for them they always have issues and then as a person who realized that i can put this money through into my account without sending it to my family's direct if i want to give them money direct i give them for like for their for layer life for catching up for using at home maybe buying some things they need at home for home use so you send them that little money and the rest you put into your account you as a person and then you put that money into your account you put the money into your account every month you send the money into your account and um, some money you send it to your family but you still remain calling yourself uh, you, you you don't call yourself but you say there's so much poverty people at home they are saying there's so much poverty and me as a person i ask myself if there is poverty yes at home in uganda how many people who are in uganda okay there are so many people who are in uganda who are successful they are rich and I ask myself did all those people did they travel to these countries to work as mates that's how they became rich did they or did they came into maybe went to other countries to work as mates you i you never know what they did. yes some of them traveled but some didn't so stop saying hey banango uganda what do you have there's this guy who used to work on this local tv it's called Bukhet tv that guy used to say it's not um, um he say that um it's you he's you you're the poverty to yourself because you're not using your brain to create up something you're not using your brain to start up something you just think if i go and work 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 you don't even have that idea of standing up for yourself and start up from somewhere you know most of us most of people they think if I have millions and millions like I have I, 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 I want there's a business I want to start up with but I, I need to have like 200 million into my account that's okay 200 million to start up a business
But if you find someone who is successful, successful will tell you that me to start up a business, I set up okay, some will set up with one M, two M. It depends on the merchandise that you'll be selling. And some people they think to start up a business you need to go and rent a building. Sometimes businesses start from home. Some people will start their business at home. Maybe you have a house and you have a garage, your house is big. We use that one room as his factory. That's where he produces merchandise, his products. He starts at home. And that's how businesses are growing to those people who are home and they have become successful. And to us who are here, we are like, Wana ngobwa vubunje waka, obwa vubunje Uganda. Wana ngezimani kane yonge lokola. Yes, my dear sister. I'm not stopping you from working. You who still you who still wants to stay here. But let me tell you something. Because your friend has said in the second I could work, I'm not going home. I still want to work. You know this pandemic, uh, this thing of uh, corona has brought so many problems in our country. There is so much poverty. So I'm not going back home. I want to I want to stay to work. Yes, my dear, you can stay and work. But as you who hasn't done anything for yourself saving money and saving money and you're not doing anything with that money it won't it won't take you anywhere it won't help you yes still you go back home you will go back home there are so many needs in that money you need maybe to rent a house you need maybe to buy some things for yourself maybe your family member let me say, let me say let me just assume that one of them is ill and they need two million or three million for his treatment. <laughs> and suddenly, remember, you've saved your money, you've saved your money, you've worked for five years, and you say, Let me go back home finally and set up something with that money. But remember, in the bank, they always charge, there's always bank charges, my dear. So they charge you. And you, in that five, oh, like you have 10 million in your account, you want to start up, you want to buy something, you want, you want to buy this, you want to buy this. By the time you want even to start a business, you don't even have enough into your account. You spend into your family members. Maybe your kids are sick. You have to pay school fees. Don't stay because your friend is staying, because you have your fellow neighbor who is a Ugandan. You, I say, me, I will be staying, I will be renewing my contract with you did not come in the same day you both don't have the same destiny if, listen to me very carefully if you're watching this video today you don't have the same destiny tell yourself if i want something let me go back home let me first arrange prepare when you're done preparing then then I told my auntie, the way you come here, what's in the zone? Come here, cola. Zakuzimba, zakola webat. Name because we are too zay in Uganda. They sent a cigarette or 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 mazene umu and aba mu ba mbali mu kupati sati sa in this season of coronavirus and the COVID nineteen. Baba gamba si mani COVID nineteen. Jim kie. Abantu amu inyonyi zagu deo airport sezimu. Abantu amu bali free or kudai waka. So we wait and go wait to get our sente. So siku siku baba gamba siku koto. I don't know Luganda. Siku koto. Only sorry na yenga. Siri kule miso kudai waka. Na yenga gobo gobo ine chini chua gala planning ngo mutu. Oso gama tia. Kanzile waka so kente get kevin to yange. Obanja gala gula poloti ngule poloti yange. Mani yenti nguze. Walo abantu abu moku faba ina venga nda ne. Wabe gayi roku guli le chini tu ne waga ne waga muna yange. Bwe kenyi ne kuma o kule chini. Obere o mubi ne vinti. Yes vinti o mubi eta go kuwe la. Kuwa yezo kwa tuwa guli la poloti ngaba guli la mpeo. Guli eno loza sente je. Waba guli la poloti nga na. Te wali yo chini tu nga tu ina yo na chiku ite linye. Ne guli eno kolo lozo li na yo. So. Uwa uwa watege ka sentezo. Solo kudai waka. Omukisa kuwera guchalu, omuleko kuuliviza antisimanyi, ate kukende Uganda, chugena vede chuzigo kudama wanga mali. Toloza, dinesiri ya doka siri ya wanga li watonde kukuwera ngo jamu kula mawanga gaba wala banangi. Mulekila ukuwera domance, mubele no wongo. 
Guwe buza abantu abagenze China bagenze bate abantu bagenze mu America bagenze bate abantu bagenze mu Australia abantu bagenze Canada abantu bagenze abantu bagenze mawanga naga mawanga gakiriza abantu genda mwemba sezawe gendo fune information ku bintu ebikwatagana mawanga gawe ne tulekera okuloza anti we tujeno twamala yo twamala yo nti yene sio kaje tweno kujja mwana mawanga malago solo genda go muntu no tandiko kola ne utandika wa akantu ko awulira dai wa ka tewe sigulira kumuna agama nje muna ngikanjira akola akanjira asigala ndi na abana yeso ina abana ni buli omwa ina planize we wa jeno tewaja na plan ya esta tewaja na plan ya robi tewaja na plan ya mariamu tewaja na plan ya dana tewaja na plan ya rose buli omu alina plan ye mu mutwegwe so oli wagama tayagala sigala acha yagala kule miaka je 5 baka me ba mugambi tukolele miaka 3 manyi ne bya corona je kanawe no da no ga munange ne bya corona nge je bya ze Uganda tubagena kudda mukiriza abana okudda eno mawanga gabana lile lile ne gwanga lyo kagwe ngo omuntu olaba anti je gwanga lyo kalo labi anti yo solo kujja munti you can't go to any other country Ni yes, asaza we saying in Uganda. <laughs> you know I mix Uganda and English because I want everyone to understand what I was saying. So I was saying most of us we we don't want to go home because so and so I said uh, me I'm, I'm going to renew my contract. I'll be staying here for like 3 years or 4 years. I'm still working because of this pandemic season of COVID-19 and coronavirus. I can't go home. So I have to make money. So I was saying sometimes we make money and we keep it into our accounts. But we keep that money into account. However much you make money, you make money. As I've mentioned that money you reach home, you have so many needs of it. And you want to buy a land for yourself. Maybe you want to build a house. Maybe you want to set up something. First, go back home. Arrange your things. Buy that land that you've always wanted to buy. Know that at least I've bought something with my money. You know when you bought something, maybe that money that you're working for, it's doing something, my dear. You have that energy. However much your boss annoys you, however much he says what, you'll always wake up with that feeling of working because you're working with passion. Because you know at home, at least I know I'm building a house. By the time I get over with this kind of job that I'm doing, I'm done. I know I'm going to my house. I have enough money to start up my own business. Maybe I have a, I've bought a boda boda. Maybe I have a taxi. There's these special hires. You can buy those small cars. People hire it. Maybe these people who don't want to use a pl uh, public transport. They they hire them. They call. You have a driver. Maybe your husband. You know some husbands. They have become mothers at home. Mothers or wives are the one who are in this country is hustling for them. So has that husband is the one running the business at home. You know you send money. You send money. Yes, because you know you're happy. Because you know you're doing something. You're not just keeping that money into your account and tell yourself when I go home. I want to build a house, I want to buy a land, I want to... it's not going to be enough for you to do all those things that you want. But you still want to come back. My dear, if you want to go home, it's okay, you can go. I will not say you should stay, and if you want to stay and work, it's on you. Because we all don't have the same mind, I don't have the same mind as you. Me, I may have my own goals and you also have your own goals of doing something. So if you want to go home and do something, it's okay. You can go home and do it and then come back. The reason why I, today I decided to share this, it's because yesterday my boss and I, we had a conversation. So, uh, so he was complaining about the things, the way things were being used at home. And then he says, he started counting everything. So... He, you were saying, uh, AC, 24 hours, you guys are sitting under AC, 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 yes. Me in my room, there is no AC. This thing that you see behind me here, this is not AC, it's a warmer. Ever since they bought it, I decided to pause it there. Because I can't warm myself. This country is hot. And that's fun up there. That's only my savior. I shift my bed from here, I take it there. So that I can have that air tonight when I sleep. So he was saying, 24 hours sitting on the AC is a lot of money. Electricity is 30,000. Buying food in this house, 100. Plus your salary, that's 250. 
that's 150 and other things kids asking me for money all the time buying this buy this buy this buy this buy this every time money 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 in this house yeah did you think i and when i had all that i was like hmm yes you're right that's when today I came up with this conversation of most of us we think uh, we say poverty 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 you're saying poverty here they are giving you your your uh, you're in a free house water you're not paying you're not buying food you're not buying clothes they are giving you everything some okay some mates they are the one who buy their sanitizers they are the one who buy not sanitizers Sanitary pads. They are the one who buys it. They are the one who buy their vaseline. They are the one who buy their toothpaste. Their bosses don't afford them for with that. They are the one who buy their credits. They want to call at home. You buy MBs on your own money because your boss are not giving. They are telling you, my dear, things are so expensive. Days and days, and you're like, okay. You try to tell them. They are like, no, we are. Aren't we paying your salary? Don't you have your money? We are paying you, so what do you want us to give you? Want to give you? Do you want us to give you everything? Some of us are about even to demand us money for rent. I'm not going to lie to you. They are about to tell us, my dear, yes, because you're working for us, you're not paying anything. You're eating food for free and uh, medical for free. Sometimes some others they don't even take them to the hospital. However much you get sick, your boss will bring one panadol like this, even sometimes a quarter of a panadol, and tell you take that medication. That's not complete. You don't know what someone is suffering from. Why would you just give me Panadol? I came to I told you I'm sick, I'm not feeling well. That's why maybe you find some children are dying. Maybe some of them end up getting an operation. Some of them go home when they are out of there. They have lost their minds. They have, they have gone crazy. So And you start saying that they have wished them. Not because they have wished them. Sometimes even the doctors, they say at the hospital, don't just take a medication because you come to the hospital and tell the doctor how you feel. Don't be your own doctor. Seek the medical attention. Tell them you're sick. If that day you don't, if you feel that your body is sick, stay. Don't wake up and do anything. Better I'm saying it, Bamanye to Rimurade, Neomun to Ogama to Rimurade, Nozuku Kabri Kumachano again and Nom Tegi Kede Chokuria, a chincha, a chemisan, Uyoses and Goyo Gorobe, Tajak Manyam Nang into Rimurade, a Jagamba a Yekoza. Never I'm saying it, no be long at home with a Gukuru Manyan Wekoze. So we have lunchy. But Jacks to a back to Rimuadi, the song of a Galumukuri. So, boss, when you have a day, you come back with everything to be na gamba. But you need gamba. Yes, I want to go for two to three. No, I come back to everything to be over there. Every time, no gamba. Ah, see that you walk out and you're going to go like that. Yes, everything to be over there. No money is to get any of your free. Ne, I want to come with Baba Baba Balangira. I'm not going to go to Georgia. If you need a job, you know you will I'm not going to lie. Be you need a job, you need a gala in Siberia. Be you need a job. Wenda ba mani, nda ba mani na ngi ni na mani. Ne ya te, eche ni anje chini na mani. Ubi ni anje biu ni abubi. Kanku buli de. Zebana ngi la ngi la den koko. Ida si. Together akuli baba baba tu ba la ngi la. Omutu na kula ngi la buli chumu choria. Omutu na kula ngi la kanu na kula ngi la nekali. Ni ubuzati ba na ngi na zaguaji. Stop saying that there is poverty at home. You're saying poverty because you're not here where you are. You're not paying for anything. You're being given everything for free. But those people who are giving you these things for free, they are feeling bad. They are feeling so bad in their hearts. They are like, I'm giving her everything. Now you see, she has bumps. She's shaking when she's walking. Eh? She's walking like Nansanga. Eh? The bumps are going east with south north. And a new boss asks you, how comes me I don't have big bums like you? <laughs> My dear people, stop saying there is poverty. Just because they are giving you things for free, stop saying that at home there is poverty. There are people who are there at home and they have become successful. So, My dear, Banag, we're going to Uganda. Hmm?
ndaye wako planning ekintu kyo bulungi tewe sugulira ko ya yakalo sigala wobwo bango yakalo kuda soko gendo planning ekintu kyo oja kudokole mukama waba yakugulira makubo pagamba woboli na favor nga katonda yakuteka ko overflowing blessings kabani kabanoli ne waje na kunamira teri chijagana eva oja kugenda mukama yonaji yakusindiko kubira ne soko deyo wetegekere bintu byo kubanga abe wakabaganye tugenda azikola yesu boba nyumirwa wabuli wozi sindika boba zili abazilia te bafa ene wo munyumiza munange ni nembera je mbita mm -mm. bazilia by enjoying ne gwe buze chiche ne kolede obuchanga tandiko okola chiche ne kolede ngo omuntu na yoli wano ochaga mbochaga la kuyongera no soko pozinge kumanyi bagamba omukisa guja wans Wali we chintu echi kugamba dae wako gure. Okule osuko kule chini chintu. Then uchukola. Then ye vila la viko vilele. First thing first. Guys, if you find my videos helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to click that bell. Click it like click. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Nora and you're beautiful Nora as always as you can see I made this myself it's a uh, ah uh, I forgot <laughs> okay it's a box <laughs> it's a box shirt that I made for myself as I told you me I'm a fashion designer so Bye guys, I hope you have a wonderful day, but don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell to turn on the notification. Every time that I upload the new videos, you'll be notified. But guys, think about what I've said. Laws of Chinambi. Sidi muko gira bobi oba nkucha mi wankola chine. Just sit down as a person. We will send to chine kole deo ungomu. Tutewe siguli la kubu ni tu wakuba cha agalo sigalao. Dayo wakube kone chiwe kule. Tolo zanti wenze yu wakange da kuli achi. Ebintu byo bwerere Yesu ya bwerere mayitu agalanye byo bwerere ne yedda we buzente wakane kuli de wochi va mu kuloza ntu ntuko wakange nda kuli achinge chogamba bali yo bali mu kuli amayinja bali enkokoto olaba guli ene nenu mtu nakulangira omuchere nakulangira buchi nakuza ntu wa mu wali omuchere ewa mu muli na yengudo ewa mu muli na yemoto so ku deyo deyo aka Yesu biro yo mtu ateka yemoto kajaloza ntu teliyo okay guys have a wonderful day love you guys Bye, bon week.